you had told us at the end of last season, you felt you had had your best year yet. How do you want to follow that up now that you've got, you know, three more years locked in here? Yeah. Um, everything that, uh, everything that we need and we consistently say it, it's, it's right in our hands. It's right in our in backyard. Uh, if we're talking about me personally, um, I did have the the best season of my career last year. Um, I figured my niche out. I figured out what I needed, and uh, the sources were there. You know, Will. Um, I'm gonna speak on Will, right? Like Will and Greenberg at the facility. Like everything out, outside of football that didn't come to me kick sliding and all this stuff. Uh, I mastered with will. And then I mastered the little individual things inside of my kick step after mastering the stuff outside of football. If I didn't confuse you there, like hopefully, but you're following along um, and it worked. So I think the recipe for what we're pushing for is there and I see it and I've always seen it and I'm there to help make that happen and to make it happen but as an individual uh i'm just gonna get better i'm gonna get better i'm planning on more pro bowls more all pros more all of that if we're talking about self stuff like i'm planning on being the best version of myself um again and again and again and again and again and again and for the community you know like i can never leave that community like i wouldn't walk away for nothing you know but myself i'm gonna just keep growing and trying at my best to be the best version of myself and to help my teammates lead and become men and grow into this into this life of an NFL athlete. Thanks, Dion. Congrats again. Yeah. Appreciate you. Thank you. Hi, Dion. Congrats. What's up, Matt? Nothing, Dion. Well, I think you kind of sent us all into a frenzy for about 10 minutes. So I guess part one of my question is, who did you tell that you were going to be an entertainer because when you posted it, like even Daquan Jones responded, like what's going on? Did anybody know? I didn't tell anybody. No. Cause nobody, cause when it comes down to it though, like, like you can't be trusted. <laughs> they were going to be they, trusted. They were going to uh, snitch on you. Somebody was going to squeal. And I was like, man, it'll only be pure if I keep it, if I keep it home. So, so you, you know. did. Why? Buffalo, why do you want to be here long term? Why is this the place that you want to spend, you know, the next several years? Hmm. Why Buffalo? You know, I kind of see it in a way, Matt, where when you start a new chapter in your life, you're born again, like something is born, like something is created, something is transformed, something happens, some light grows, some light just starts to shine. And I feel like when I got drafted to the Buffalo Bills, um, and my weird analogies, right? And my weird analogies that I can't get away from, like I was born, like I was a baby, I was born. And Buffalo was my mother and my father. So who the heck wants to walk away from mom and dad? Cause I don't, um, and that's how, and I see it like Buffalo embraced me. And, and when it comes to loyalty, like even when it could be the wrong thing or the right thing, or I'm loyal to what's loyal to me and Buffalo has been loyal to me. And, uh, when it comes to being loyal, um, I try to define that and I try to live by that. And that's why, you know, Buffalo has shown me love and I don't want to be like one of those guys to, to walk away from greatness and to walk away because, oh, there's palm trees or, you know, like there's casinos, like, no, like, like Buffalo is Buffalo. I love it. The, the freaking snow, the wings, the, the table jumps, the, the mats on the interviews, like, like, I like you guys, like, I really do, man. And, and I can't see myself starting over with somebody else. It'll be fake. Like I can't go somewhere else and smiling some other fans face. Nah, bro. Uh, uh. I gave too much to you guys 
and uh, Buffalo is me and uh, Bean and McDermott and P Pagula. Like, like that's why. That's why. Like, Mc Sean McDermott, honestly, is freaking why. Brandon Bean and his family is why. And, of course, the Pagulas and everything that they've done and, and their kids and the and relationship that I've grown with with his children like like bro it is it is amazing and like what else more do you want like buffalo is beautiful just like the next place so i got all of my friends and, and family there so i'm there i'm there awesome congrats dion thanks again oh, thank you hey dion congratulations yeah thank you Love the shirt. Love the look. Looking good. You know, got to have my tats out since I'm pacing <laughs> interviews, you know what I'm saying, with my shirts out. But I got to have my shirt off. I'm a shirt off guy. Amazing. Um, curious for you, you just talked about why Buffalo. What is it like for you, though, that they want to give, you know, commit to you in this way? You know, after all these years there, after being a draft pick to like them be like, no, we want you here for the foreseeable future. What is that like for you? <sighs> What is it like? Hopefully I answer the question the right way. Yeah. Um, I have a hard, I have a hard time of just trying to be normal, right? Like I'm at a position and I am at a place that I can change the narrative for offensive line men. I could, you know, make it better, make it cooler to be an offensive lineman. And Buffalo is one of those places um, that I can do that. And coming into the NFL, I always knew my goal. I wanted to create a different lane for offensive linemen. And I feel like Buffalo shows and gives me the platform and gives me the opportunity to show that offensive linemen are just as cool as your quarterback and they're just as cool as your receiver like like we all have personalities like like we like we might not be the the glam position on the football field but if you really just look behind the curtain the big guys are usually the ones that you know are the characters and have the personalities and go over and beyond and uh I'm just trying to you know just shine light on the big guys and just show them that, you know, it's cool to be big. <laughs> Hopefully sure. I answered a bunch of questions. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I'm curious, obviously, with Mitch moving on um, this Sad. awesome. Uh, just like, how do you view from a leadership perspective, the hole that has to fill on the line and like how you guys yeah. move forward without him this season? Yeah, there's, there's, um, there's always a hole when you lose your center. Simple as that. But me and Mitch led that room to together. Um, even though I didn't have a C on my chest, uh, I was in every captain's meeting. I was in every decision making point. I was we were there to together. And, and when it's just like the army, it truly is. Like, if you have a first, I don't want to say it wrong, but if you have, like, a first sergeant and then you have a younger guy underneath him, like, we all know, like, like in this world, like, we're playing with, 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 with flying, flying, flying bullets. Like, anybody can go down at any time due to an injury, due to a trade, due, and due to something with, and, with the con and with the contract, so... Everybody has to be ready to do their part at all times. And the beautiful thing about it is, you know, Mitch goes on and now Mitch is going to be with the Jaguars. So when it comes down to it, I'm, I'm more so happy that, you know, Mitch is able to continue to play football and provide for his family. But when it comes to Buffalo in a way of taking a hit of, leadership roles. Um, there's so many guys that have been picking everybody's brain that everybody is a leader in their own way. And from the inside, 
I don't want to say like it's not a big deal, but like we're gonna be okay regardless. Like regardless, like, and I'm still gonna call Mitch. I'm still gonna ask Mitch what should I do and what should be done or what needs to happen. Like we're all still connected. It just sucks that Dad won't be there. Um, but um, yeah, it's, it's part of this league. Yeah. One very last question for me. Did you make the picture yourself that you put out there? The wording was the spacing was wild. Like, did you make it? Of course it? I did. Okay. Just wanted to check. I had, to trip, <laughs> I had to trip you out because it was like all over the place. Yeah. High and little and big words and low words. Yeah. That's how I do. You know, Fantastic. that's, that's the inside of my head. Like the inside <laughs> of my brain is wild. So that's what you guys got. <laughs> Glad we got uh, to see a little bit of that. <laughs> yeah, I don't want you guys to see too much. You might, you might get scared. Congrats. Thank you. Dion. Who's that? This is uh, Sean from Orchard Park Beat. I was just calling. Uh, you sound. You, you describe yourself as a uh, as as an entertainer, and I was just wondering maybe if you could uh, share a song with us to mark this. This, this, nah, this, this is a special occasion. You said Sean from I uh, I'ma tell you, Sean, I don't know who who it is, but you sound like McDermott. And if I were to say if this is Sean, welcome, because I don't know you, but Sean, I'm gonna talk to you like I'll talk to my head coach. Um, let's ride, let's ride out. And the song of choice that I would say. It, it'll probably be Sweet Home Alabama, but I would probably well, change it to Sweet Home Buffalo. So Sweet Home Buffalo. <laughs> and and maybe and maybe you could talk uh, about the like the the maybe the wardrobe you're wearing for this special occasion today for all of us. Shirtless snow, man. Shirtless snow. I don't care what nobody say. This is Sean. It got to be Sean. Talk like that. Um. I knew it. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, man. I'm about to say, like, yeah. Ain't nobody that sound and like that. That's Sean McDeezy, man. What up? <laughs> what up, buddy? Congratulations, yeah, I'm sure, man. I'm, hey, thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate you. We locked and loaded, yeah. man. I just wanted to hear a little rap, you know, a little song that you had. <laughs> See, everybody wants a little bit of entertainment when, it, when the off season <laughs> starts, right? Hey, you said you're an entertainer, man. So I had no, to jump on sure. and be like, hey, let's I hear got songs. You. I got I you, it. man. What up, though? Sweet, yeah, that's 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 the remix. We need that. <laughs> Mom, I'm coming home to you. Yeah, oh, you're the best, buddy. We love you, man. See you. No, guys I appreciate later. you. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Dion, John Warrell, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Well, how how cool is that? We don't often get a coach that comes on one of these Zoom calls to congratulate you on coming back. How 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 nifty, how how cool is that to, to have Sean welcome you back that way? You know, it's just it's cool. Yes, it's very cool to simply answer, but that kind of just, just just shows on like what I was just like talking about. Like when it comes down to it, it's McD, it's Bean, it's Pagulas, like like, come on, like, that's my head coach. Like, my head coach just jumped on on a Zoom call where he could be chilling with his family just to say a couple of things and to put a smile on at my face. So it's it's those little wins that the coaches and the people here go beyond, go over and beyond to do to make it special. And we all know that it's a, a business. And for them to continue to do and what they do it means everything to all of us and it's hard like he's in a position where it's tough to make decisions and it's tough to move pieces and to do what he does but that right there just shows why mcd is in mcd like there ain't no and no coach like him man he's a stone cold killer and he's a good man at heart and that's all i can ask for and a great father you know so it's a win, win, win for Sean McDDD. <laughs> and and just the last thing, I, I mean, there you talked about this being a business and 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 how you felt for 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 not having Mitch there, and and you also lost Jordan and and Trey. But how mindful were you were you in 
in these renegotiations and in doing this deal, were you of the salary cap hit and 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 perhaps being mindful of what your contract could do, especially this year, um, moving forward um, as far as a hit hit against the team, if you know what I'm saying. I I do know. So one, I will I would I'm gonna try to answer that in three ways. I won't try to ramble. So try to keep me on track. All right. So number one, um. When you see the news of people getting cut and people getting released and all this stuff and going on, and then you know that you're in negotiations for a contract, it sucks because the money has to be shifted around and whatever. And I don't want to take from any of my brothers. Um, two, I had the best season of my career last year, knowing that I had the best season of my career. Um, I could have waited. I could have waited. And I could have had another great season and then asked to be the highest paid left tackle ever. Like that's like, that's how that goes. And me, I would rather there be more money to go around for my teammates and for us to build the Super Bowl team that we need to win than for me to be like, oh, I want $650 million. Like, bro. Like, like I want our teammates to be able to take care of their other families. No, number one, I want people to be happy. Number two, and I want to play great ball with happy teammates. I don't want nobody to be bitter. I don't want nobody to be upset. And, um, you know, like you got to be mindfulness. Well, you have to be mindful when it comes to doing things and really like what you're asking for. Like, are you asking for something that's going to hurt? others or are you asking for something that is going to do well for the mass and obviously i am one of those guys that uh i'm for the mass i really am and um i love my guys and i hope whatever and whoever is supposed to get theirs can and get theirs and we can continue to move forward because we're all here for for in one reason and that's to bring a super bowl to um orchard park and uh to walk through that city with that trophy and have our own celebration. So that's why, and we're here. So for whoever needs a piece of the pot or, or like, or the pie, it's in my hat. Go ahead and get it. Dion, it's Sal. What's going on, man? What's up, Sal? Bro, you made a lot of us work really hard this morning to try and figure out what's going on. I, okay, I love that. <laughs> Sal, I, I love that. I wonder if Luke. <laughs> I wonder if Mookie worked just as hard. I don't know, as, man. He does. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wonder if all of you guys ever stressed out. <laughs> we were all called. Hey, we got. Hey, I, no, listen, we got. We got. We got. You know, we're all we're all colleagues here, and you know, we're competitors. We're colleagues. We got people texting each other. What's going on? You see this, Dion? We're all trying to figure it out. Texting each other. All you had to do was pick up the phone and call me. There you go. Mook, Mookie, Mookie picked up the phone and he did call. I didn't answer, <laughs> but but but. I seen that he called. So when I did, and if I did tell somebody, I would have told Mook because Mook was one of the only people that picked his phone up to ask what, what was going on. So See, Mook would have been, but hey, I, I will tell you, call me. I, I, I did text three you, people. I, I did text your agent. He never got back to me. I'm still waiting on that one to figure out what's going on. Man, that's, was, okay. I can't right. help you with nobody else's <laughs> decisions, my man. Hey, listen, uh, congratulations, obviously. Nah, thank you, Sal. Can you, can you go back to when this started with you? Like in... in Kind of the process here? I don't know. There really isn't a process. It just it just kind of happens, man. It just kind of happens where, you know, like this is where we see ourselves. How do you feel about us? Yep. Do we feel the same way? Do we value each other the same way? And can we get something done or can we not? And, um, you know, yeah, I guess that's kind of it. Like it just like, happens, you right? Like you, you just get it. It kind of just, just happens. Like, yeah. You, it kind of just happens. Yeah. I got you. Um, and I have to ask you about the interview with Vlad and what the reaction has been, um, yeah. after, after what you said and kind of how that went viral and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, now nah, you asked me exactly what you want to ask me, Sal. Okay. Do you have any regrets? Regrets on what? 
Uh, anything you said at all? Should I have and regret so of Did anything you, that I said? I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm asking you because I know sometimes these things can go viral. Maybe you say, maybe you shouldn't have said something you did. I know what you said and obviously got a lot of attention of Jets players who responded what to you. What did I say, Sal? Um, you called um, Clemens the B word and, um, you know, talked about that stuff. So I'm, I'm, I, I'm not yeah. saying, you, I'm asking if you do, because no. then you had, yeah. Sauce, you, had, you had Sauce Gardner tweeting about you afterwards. So look, perfect. I'm gonna keep it there, right? Okay. Sauce jumped into something that he didn't have to jump into. I don't have no problems yeah. with Sauce or really, honestly, like none of those guys, but really a couple of the D linemen that want to talk crazy, right? Yeah. Sauce jumped into it. I didn't even respond to it because, bro, calm down. Clements, I'm a, I'm a, I am a personal protector, man. Mm -hmm. I have a problem when it comes to people trying to take advantage or to doing stuff to people that might not be able to defend themselves or might not like that might need a hand, right? I'm gonna take it back just real quick since, and we're talking, right? Since we have time, right? Um, when I was in college. You know, I got in trouble for defending one of my teammates, right? I winded up having to go to jail because one of my teammates was getting taken advantage of in a fighting sense, and it's unfair. So I defended him, and I got in trouble in defense. I'm trying to help my teammates. This situation, Clemens, standing on the field, talking to Josh to his face, talking to everybody on my offense, straight like this. You're a, you're a B, you're a B, you suck. You're, it's all on tape. Yeah. Somebody, somebody is mic'd up every game. So there's nothing to lie about. And yes, like I'm going to say what I'm going to say. I'm going to keep that tension there. What I hate, what not like what I hate, but what the one thing that I dislike about this this league is, you know, not that everybody's friends, but rivalry makes this fun, right? Rivalry and attention makes it fun. Everybody is is a is a ha ha hey yo, what's up? I, I can't wait to see you. Like, bro, listen, bro. Like, it's killer be killed, man. Like, we not friends. Like, y'all not here and with me, right? Like, y'all not checking on me. When my kids have birthdays and and y'all not texting me, y'all not like asking me like how Mama Doc is and and how Day Day is or 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 how does your finger feel? We ain't friends, bro. Y'all just want to be friends, like like we not friends. So I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. Like why should I not speak the the truth? Y'all like you took it there for your team, right? You're a reflection of your team. Like, if I were to do some cheap stuff, I would be a reflection of my team. So, as a team, you are a reflection, and I'm going to put y'all all in the same basket because I don't – we're not friends. I don't know y'all. Y'all are enemies. If we are going to war to fight for our country, our country is Orchard Park, Western New, New, New York, Hamburg, East Aurora, downtown Buffalo, east side of Buffalo. West side of Buffalo, like that's like we're going to war for our troops, right? For our guys, we have to cross six hours of traveling to fight. We're not friends. We're not friends, man. So, Sal, I don't, I don't re regret anything. Um, there's nothing to 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 be reneging about. Like, bro, we're not friends. Like. We're not friends, bro. Like you chase me into a tunnel and use your and use your beak to start barking. Like, like we not we not doing that. Like we're football players, right? Like, but like we not gangsters, like we not like we football players and we handle our business on the football field, right? So talk about it. I appreciate your honesty and passion, man. It means a lot. Thank you. Yeah, you know. Speak the truth. 
You got it. And uh, last question for me. Um, did you go on that cruise yet? You guys going on that cruise sometime soon? Man, so the cruise kind of fell apart. Oh, man. Um, I'm going to put it like this. Mitch is dad, okay? <laughs> dad wasn't with parts of the cruise. <laughs> and it's not. Nah, honestly, it's just everybody couldn't get on routine to get there. You know, Spencer, I like, had to get surgery. And we wanted everybody to be there that could have, like, been there. And... We didn't want to take that leap without everybody taking it. And we just chose to do a nice trip in Miami. Uh, we went to dinner. We uh, went to the casino. We guys just being guys. And it was fun. It was, it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, I have memories that I'll never forget. You know, that was the last time that we were all together as a unit. And, uh, you know, and how and how this goes, you know, it might be our last time that that's ever like that. But thankful. No, thank you. Uh, see you. Yeah, and sure. I, I always your wife's name pronounce it Deanna. Is that Deanna? How do you how do you say your wife's name? I don't. Know. Okay. So you. you guys soon. You know, got it. Dayana. Dayana. Thank you. Thank you. Night and day. All you right, got it, buddy. Thank day, you. Day day. Call her day. Congratulations day. to both of you. Thank you. You got it. <laughs> Sal, man, what a guy. What a guy. Now, snow, come on, man. You think I was going for this, the summer of snow cryptic message? You put never, up to never, never, yeah. never, 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 never. You would pick up that phone. You would pick up that phone. You know, the interrogation was in session. <laughs> right. But nevertheless, man. my guy, you said it the best, right? Not everyone can work from home. Some people got to be out there on their grind doing their job no matter what. And man, you have been doing that job since you put on a Bills uniform. I just want to congratulate you. Thank you. On the journey and everything, not only that you did for the organization, you know, as well as the community. So, you know, what is going to be like for you being here, you know, and doing more for, you know, Dion's Dreamers and people in the community, first and foremost? Well, the community comes um, hand in hand with, with, with being first. Like, I don't like, like want to say, like the community is first and football is second because there ain't no football without the community and the capacity of how we we do it. So the community and my team are first. They're first. And, you know, Dion is just going to con continue to be where he has to be. Like there's always tension in our city from east side to the west side to small stuff that goes on and whatever I have to do to be the piece, my puzzle piece, because it's not just me. I'm not the cure. Like I'm not the, the, this is what Buffalo needed. Like, no, like there's a whole team, like there's a whole bunch of puzzle pieces that form into this one beautiful picture. So I just want to continue to concrete my piece to make my piece so heavy that it just can't be picked up. Absolutely. No doubt, my guy. You know, you know, we're on deck for that. But man, transitioning over from guard to tackle, consecutive Pro Bowls, now you top five that are alive in position paid, man. So how much of that alone is going to just fuel that expectations? It keeps it keeps the fire lit. Um, it just gives me more reasons of why I never want to let y'all down. Um, I take a lot of pride in the role that I'm in. No, number one, understanding the business, right? Understanding that we are all a piece of Pagula, right? And as a man, with making a purchase like a home, or a car, right? I never want to feel bad about a purchase that I made. And I never, and with being the car or the house, if you can understand, I never want to let my buyer down. Right. You understand? And I appreciate the buyer. And I'm going to let him have his best <laughs> his best paradise ever man like like it's it's uh it's just my analogy of thinking about it and 
I take it with, with a lot of pride that I don't want to let anyone down. And that's a good way to live as a father and as a person. Like, I don't want to let my people down, and I won't. And with the team that I have, with all the people in the Bills facility that I have, um, I love them, and I don't want to let them down. And you guys. So I will continue to drive off of the fuel that you guys present. <laughs> And uh, I shall not let y'all down. No, not one more quickly, man. Three years to yeah. that this bandwagon is still full. <laughs> now you're talking about the fan base, the bandwagon, the fan base. <laughs> nah, it's it's not full because with every de decision that is made and every piece that is moved around, there's room for another piece to be placed. And for the people that are coming on board, come on board now. <laughs> come on, come on board now because the doors will, it will close again and we're going to ride out with what we have and uh, the tats coming soon. Buffalo bills, no matter what. That's the vow. Some more, some more mules to freaking pull it along, you know, and I'm one of them. So let's keep pulling. <laughs> Congrats, my guy. Yeah. Thank you, brother. I see Maddie. I see hey, Dion, Maddie. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. When you look back to 2017, the year that you were drafted by the Bills, how much have you grown since that year? I'm a grown man. I'm a man now. Nah, I'm a uh nah, it's uh and I've grown a lot. I've grown a lot. Like, like even like as a self individual, like some of the stuff that that has happened and what and what like what has been done, like, 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 it's amazing. Like, it's really amazing, like how life, how different life can be in just five years, eight years, seven years, six years, like how different it could be if you just have a plan, like set a goal and get it and go ahead and do it. Um, I've grown so, so much, Mads, like from a football player to a person, to a to artists to just a creative thinker like like Maddie like like I'm blessed to say like one of my coolest accomplishments bro I have an Emmy like I have an Emmy like come on like 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 there's no like the sky is the is truly the limit for Anybody that touches Buffalo, and I just and talk about me. Anybody that touches Buffalo, the sky is the limit. But yeah, hopefully I answered it. Yes, you did. And then one more for me. I mean, you you spoke about the expectations of this team on yourself um, being here to help the Bills get to a Super Bowl. How are you going to take your leadership to the to the next level this season? You, you know, I don't think that you have to drastically abort ship and find a new plan. Like we're always just right there. So for the most part, everybody has to do 95% of what they do. And we have to find that 5% that is obviously missing. So with me, Dion, with me being Dion, I'm just going to continue to be at myself and treat it as so like, like you either love me or you hate me. This is me. Like, this is, this is me. So I'm going to just continue to give the world my, my true self, give my teammates my, and my true self and be available. Like I just plan on being available for whoever I need to be available for. Cause like you go through this roller coaster and when your teammates ask you questions that you might never think that they would ask you, um, it means that you're doing something differently and in the right way. So I think with me being myself works and I'm going to try to be myself as much as I can without, you know, making anybody too uncomfortable. Appreciate you, Dion. Keep being yourself. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks, Mads. That's all the questions we have for today.
Uh, thank you again, Dion, and congratulations. Thank you, bro.